Question 16. Have your practices changed to keep up with new technologies? Answer. Working on my own since 2001. I have been slow to adopt technologies practiced by staff beforehand. I now work with a part-time design assistant who puts my design proposals on the computer. In some cases, these can connect directly to numerically controlled production systems. I do believe that the methods of drawing significantly influence how we conceive ideas. Question 17. From all your pieces which is your favorite and why? Answer. I have recently begun to work in series where there is a theme being developed. For example, some carved pedestals have led to the flow series of four chests of drawers all made from the same tree of ripple ash. See Windsor, sand and flow and images of flow and sand to the right. These all explore the idea of breaking into the surface of solid timber to reveal its three-dimensionality. The patterns run round the object to emphasize the point that the these are freestanding sculptural objects. The construction breaks with convention in that the grain runs horizontally around the four sides and is therefore in harmony with the action of the drawers. All the materials are indigenous English oak drawer runners, hornbeam guides, holly drawer sides and cedar linings, all chosen to utilize their best properties. Another contender as a favorite is the leaf series of large dining tables with three legs, one dominant and two others flowing from the vein pattern in the table top. See Mulberry and spring and images of these tables to the right. The lobes of the leaf provide spaces for each person, the edges are sculpted away and naturally prompt a level of engagement and curiosity as the table appears to float. Question 18. What are the benefits of being a maker? Answer. Through my experience as a maker, I have an instinctive feel for materials and processes. This helps to build the confidence to enable one's rebellious inclinations to challenge conventional practice and to find fresh solutions. Question 19. What are the disadvantages? Answer. The balance between training and education is critical. An overemphasis on technique can constrain the ability to think independently. Question 20. Did you have an inspirational teacher? Answer. Not formally, but practice has brought me into contact with a number of inspirational mentors either as clients or professional advisors. They have been instrumental in the discoveries which have been a constant factor in my career to date. Question 21. What do you enjoy doing apart from designing and making furniture? Answer. Travel. We have recently visited the tribal areas of central India collecting contemporary art and design, garden design and building, tree pruning, 30 acres of young woodland. Question 22. If you weren't a furniture designer and maker what would you have liked to be? Answer. A number of other careers have appealed to me at different times. It is not clear to me how good I would have been at any of them. Architecture, landscape design, interior design, gallery owner and design retailing. But they do indicate an enduring fascination with design. Question 23. How can you design small spaces? Answer. In a long living room, break down the space by making three separate seating areas with pieces of furniture that are small in scale. Use light color paint on the wall to make the space look bigger. In a small bedroom, keep a bed that covers half of the space which makes the room space bigger. Question 24. When designing a room what is the most important factor for you? Answer. Once the design or thought is clear in your mind about the design is to follow a theme and the design entire room accordingly which includes color, furniture and piece of art. Question 25. How to fit bookshelves in a small space? Answer. If you are having small space and accommodating bookshelves is a problem, then it is advisable to get a wall-mounted bookshelves, and it will occupy less floor space compared to freestanding bookshelves. Question 26. What wood will you prefer for designing? Answer. The wood that will be a good choice for formal designing is oak, cherry, and mahogany, while for casual designing maple, bamboo, and pine are casual choices. Question 27. What is a good way of using lights in your room? Answer. A good way of using lights in the room is to use 80% of lights overhead and 20% of light should be a freestand or wall mounted like table lamp, art lamp, library lamps, scones, etc. It will draw attention of your interior and paintings. Question 28. How can you use the space in your balcony or veranda for garden? Answer. If you are staying in an apartment, you can use stacking technique or hang baskets for maximizing vertical space. You can use window ledge or slimline balcony by planting with suitable containers. Also you can put ornamental plants on doorstep or entrances. 
Question 29. Explain what is professional liability insurance for interior designers cover? Answer. Professional liability insurance for interior designers covers losses, expenses, and damages resulting from lawsuits up to the limit of your policy. It protects clients from claims of wrongful acts committed by you or your employee while performing professional duties or losses that happens to others due to alteration of design. Question 30. Explain how you handle customs work to fit. Answer. Paper hanging and design. For wall covering installation partners in design. Customs upholstery and reupholstery that is quick and when you want it art application. Use customs art for you chair or sofa cover Boston binding. It is used best in carpeting installation and area rug binding and surging.